as a last Hello, point, everyone. I would like to discuss My name is Alex, bit, and um, what I think I'm about the general ICO webinar, market, which is hosted um, by Token I Mines. searched out a report that I shared in with the community already, and it's a public report from icorating.com. If you like it, you can just go on ICO rating and open it. It's for quarter number three, their market research. And it is giving some statistics about the ICO market. I mean, in general, we felt all in which direction the market went. Um, but it's good to have some statistics in order to really back this up and see uh, the hard numbers of what is going on. And um, yeah, it doesn't look good so far. What I wanted to show you, for example, here is um, 600 ICOs had tried to be conducted in the quarter number three, approximately. And out of these 600, only 24 will make it, were able to list on exchanges, which is like a really, really minor percentage out of this. So. We had lots of unsuccessful ICOs in quarter number three. Um, only half of the 600 or a little bit less raised only 100k. So you can imagine how unsuccessful some of those projects really went. And um, the overall ICO funding amount was 0 0.5, 0 to 0 0.5 million, which is um, really, really not much. I mean, the valuations in the ICO market really are blown up. But um, <laughs> this compared to what would have been raised like half a year ago or one year ago is um, really nothing. It's crazy. The ICO market is really down. We are having an ICO winter and um, it's not looking good to be honest. Lots of projects are delaying. Lots of people are having no liquidity because they invested in projects and ICO projects that are not listing because they are saying that the market is shit. So where should all the investors money come from um, for the new projects if a lot of liquidity is locked up? I'm not speaking for everybody, but I am sure that some investors will have the problem as I myself have a lot of liquidity locked up in projects that are either delaying now or yeah, they are, they are mostly delaying to be honest. But I have to say also, um, given the last month or given the last three weeks, I'm seeing a little bit of recovery signs in the market. Um, let me come back to this in the end in order to give you an overview of what is happening now. I wanted to show you one more interesting thing is basically in this report, they are categorizing the tokens and a service token is, for example, a token that is used as an internal currency and that is um, capable of being used as a currency for the projects. You can basically replace it, for example, with ETH without damage to the project. It's just a currency that exists in order to buy the product, but you can also buy the product for Bitcoin or dollar, whatever currency you want. It is basically a token where the token is not really needed. It's like a, a, a fake cryptocurrency, a fake use case, just um, in order to raise funds. And there are a lot of projects like this, um, as we can see at hand with this statistic. like. A lot of projects um, are really not um, smart in designing their token use case and their token economics as a whole. And so they end up with something like this where the token is basically useless because you can also instead use cash or whatever. Bitcoin or Ethereum works also. And um, yeah, this is actually not quite the way we should go with cryptocurrencies. I think utility tokens in itself are really innovative. They are much more innovative than security tokens because security tokens are just all traditional um, <laughs> financial stuff being put on the new technology. While a utility token is something completely new, a completely new concept and um, it requires also new approaches. And I think we will see more and more innovative concepts coming out until at some point in time, we'll finally see a model for utility tokens that is appropriate and where we say as a population, this works and we would like to have it like this. But until now, um, we see these service token ICOs where basically the token is useless and they just issue it for fundraising purposes, which is quite sad because a lot of projects really damage themselves with this. Investors, investors are interested in a project that is, that's ecosystem is a gaining in value over the long term. And this has to be mirrored in the economics. And if the token economics are not on point, the use case is not strong, then um, investors are not going to invest. And those projects are the ones that are really meant to fail. Security tokens have been um, yeah, 6.5% in the last quarter. Um, not much to say, the infrastructure is not there for security tokens yet. Um, it will come, I um, don't expect in 2019, everything of it to be live yet, but by two, 
by 2020, we should uh, definitely have an ecosystem for security tokens. Um, if my, if you ask me, security tokens um, will be a more more of a, a real valuation thing because security tokens are real businesses, real cash flows, real valuations that you can basically have at hand. Whereas utility tokens or ICOs are projects where they have no cash flow. It's a really disaster. Um, those projects are on a protocol level and utility tokens are often associated with what is the next Bitcoin? What is the next Ethereum? What is the next Tron? Whatever. A utility token has this 100x possibility because nobody can uh, really, really measure how attractive it will be in the future to use this protocol, to use this utility token. And so this is the 100x component and the moon component that is a little bit missing in security tokens because security tokens, you have always real cash flows, you have a real business and you can measure more or less what would be the most successful scenario, what was the least successful scenario for it. And um, this is the big difference between uh, utility and security token offerings for me. I guess utility token offerings will not die out. Uh, I'm a believer and I think um, we will see some development in this space, as I mentioned already. For example, reversible ICO or decentralized ICOs, something like this that gives confidence and it's basically showing that the market is maturing and a lot of projects will get fluted out. All of those token projects that are not capable of uh, really getting something that is valuable for the ecosystem, they will be uh, fluted out hopefully um, through the maturing market. And then we will see really quality projects as it is right now in the bear market. The quality projects are working right now in the bear market and are still trying to make everything um, work out while uh, the, the scammers or the, the shit ICOs are basically not there anymore because they cannot raise anyways anything because nobody is willing to give any more money out. And so this in regards of this, um, as I saw in the last three weeks, there have also been some signs of the ICO market recovering. There was a project that is called Cambria, for example, it listed, um, I'm not talking about US dollar prices, but I saw also those projects um, listing on positive US dollar prices, but they've been listed um, as Ethereum um, positive return on investment by a multiple of X3 or X4, I guess. It was, um, there was Cambria, then there was a uh, machine exchange coin. I myself went into machine exchange coin. It listed at, I think, X4 ETH and um, 1.3 X US dollar and went up until 6 X um, ETH and 1.7 or 1.8 US dollar. And um, this project, I invested myself. I sold it straight away because this gain was too nice. But what I want to tell you guys with these projects that are being listed right now and don't go straight on the ICO price or stay above ICO price for uh, until now is that the ICO market is showing life size again, which is um, quite nice. I didn't expect this to be honest. We are at 3000 Bitcoin or 3800. We have a quite good pump today, but um, yeah. Uh, it was kind of surprising for me to see the ICO market being um, alive again a bit. I don't want to call it alive, but it's showing signs that it's still there, you know, because those projects are not falling under ICO. And if we have more and more of those projects that are really summing up and showing performances after being listed, then this is an indicator when the market is bouncing again, like I'm talking about the ICO market now and when it's time um, for the projects to list again and when the market will hopefully then um, boom again. I will watch closely how all the projects will perform from now on in order to be sure um, to know or be sure to try um, to time the market as best as possible in order to have a nice boom session or a nice bull session. And yeah, that's it from my side. So far, so good. I guess I will come back next week with a next um, webinar about the other topics and I hope you guys have a nice Christmas and um, don't focus too much on crypto during these holidays and enjoy the time with your families. Bye bye.